Nice. That gets my goat. Nothing. I get your goat. Uh, hey, Big, you and I went and saw Fudge. What was the robot boxing movie called? Uh, Real, real. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> real Steel. Real Steel. And a lot of people made fun of that title, and I don't know if it was because the title was stupid. Real Steel. Or if it because everybody wanted it to be called Rock'em Sock'em Robots. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it had some other working title and they changed it to Real Steel, which never really worked for me. I don't know if it's a rhyme. I don't know if it's that that means nothing. I've never heard anybody say Real Steel before. I've heard people say Real Leather, Real... Genuine Yeah, leather. real wood. You know, it's got it's got real rod and reel. They they have said that. Anyhow, we saw this movie and uh, it's it's on video by now, I'm sure, and you can rent it if you want to. But it's about Hugh Jackman and his kid. They're estranged and they sort of come together in the world of robot boxing. And as we watched the movie, I couldn't help but think of, of the irritation that you feel from every child <laughs> in every movie. And I, at the time, I did mention it to you, what your big gripe is about boys in movies. Yeah, every child actor, every boy that appears in a movie always has the same haircut. Is, every, it, fair, is it fair to say a mop top Yeah, haircut? you could call it a mop top. It's It's just overly long coming way down over their ears over their face they got to pull their hair out of their eyes just to be able to see their face so that they can deliver their lines and i don't know what the crap it is well and it has to be intentional because it happens time after time after time you know i, I remember you and i were friends when liar liar came out and you're like, God, or instead of wishing that his dad could tell the truth, I, he should have wished for a friggin' haircut. Yeah, it's hard to find a kid with a haircut in a film. And I remember Superman's bastard kid in Superman Returns. You're like, well, I mean, that one, at least you understand. You can't give him a haircut because it breaks the scissors. <laughs> but, you know, just so we'd see all these movies and you'd be like, why? What is the deal? And I don't know that we ever got a satisfactory answer, whether it's continuity is easy. It's easier for them to say, OK, we let the hair grow out long and then we cut it to a certain length and we always keep it at that length, which is horseshit because yeah, you could just as easily great. shave a kid's head for that same excuse. Yeah. Or if it's the feminization of this child makes him cuter. You know what I mean? There's something more adorable about a kid with a great big head of friggin' hair. It's all because of that kid from Eight is Enough. Adam Rich? Yeah, that little guy that had just crap loads of hair and they, they've they been doing that ever. I don't know. It doesn't make a kid cuter. I mean, when the movie ended and you mentioned it to me and I said, gosh, you know, when was the last time you saw a kid with a haircut? The one that I could come up with was, you know, that little boy from Jerry Maguire. Yeah, Jonathan Lipnicki. Yeah, he had a regular haircut. His hair was short on the sides, slightly longer and spiky and cute. And he was a cute little kid. And he said, oh, you know, the bees and dogs can smell fear. And everybody loved that kid. And they thought he was the cutest thing ever. And he had a haircut. And he had a regular haircut. It doesn't make somebody cuter to be some mop top That's metrosexual it. child. <laughs> Well, that, that's the thing that's funny, and uh, I don't know if we want to use a quick snippet from this or not, but you sent me the uh, review from Red Letter Media, where Plinkett, <laughs> for some reason, I mean, normally he reviews movies that people care about, but for some reason he decided to do a big review of the movie Cop Dog. A direct-to-video yeah. piece of crap, no budget. A stupid kids movie. movie, kids movie. But the funny thing is, he goes through and he talks about the formula that every one of these dog movies for kids has in it. And one of the things he mentions is you have to have the metrosexual boy. And he shows like five different boys or whatever. And they all have that exact same haircut, the long kind of shaggy thing. And maybe it's just because I'm old. And that's what everybody has. They, everybody has that kind of haircut. So, of course, they did a kid with Real haircut. kids don't, though, do they? Yeah, I don't know a whole lot of them, that's for sure. Is I may it? know one or two, but I know dozens of kids and one or two tops that have ever had a haircut like that. Yeah, my nephews probably get haircuts like every two months or three months. And my sister always says their hair is too long when it's just like 
covering their collar. You know what I mean? On a, on a turtleneck. And so, <laughs> and with a little, little kid, I could see saying, oh, geez, let's just give him one haircut a year. It's so much work and all that. But no, I don't get that. And I was going to say uh, the greatest child actor of our generation. Macaulay Culkin. Oh, you bastard. No, I was going to say Haley Joel Osment. Well, Macaulay Culkin had a regular haircut. His hair wasn't so shaggy as that. Was it? I, not that I recall. You're right. I can't remember him ever having crazy. But that might have been pre this fad. Pre eight is enough. <laughs> oh, you bet. Eight is enough. Come on, man. Okay. Haley Joel Osment. I was thinking Sorry. of Haley Joel Osment and I was like, oh, he never had that crazy caveman hair. And then I thought, wait, his very first movie, the one that everybody was introduced to Haley Joel Osment, Forrest Friggin Gump, he had the toadstool mushroom haircut <laughs> he was and a young forrest gump he was forrest gump jr the the little oh, boy at the oh. end that's so smart <laughs> and Just like jenny so not like his dad but yeah I, I i don't know for the most part Haley joel osmond didn't have that haircut i guess yeah maybe he had that in one small little cameo part where he's in the very last scene of the movie but the movie that everybody really knows Haley Joel Osment from is The Sixth Sense. And he didn't have that do in that one. I'd just like to see them cut that crap out. Like uh, we were saying, it, it must be a thing that uh, producers just want. That's the kind of boy that they like to molest or whatever. <laughs> you know, the producers want that kind of look. So they can relentlessly molest these poor children, like uh, Corey uh, Feldman says happens in Hollywood. I think so, Feldman had a haircut like that back. He in did his have pretty long Fox shaggy and the hair. Hound days and whatever he was in. Corey, other guy, Haim never had that though. He had regular old oh, hair. He was an ugly fucking bastard. <laughs> He's <laughs> better looking than Corey Feldman was. <laughs> oh, I hate Haim so much. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> We have derailed. These are supposed to be short episodes, so we will cut it short right now. Yeah, but ending with a plea. Please, Hollywood, give us a regular haircut on a kid in a movie. It's been a long time since we saw a kid with a regular haircut. I know they're out there, and if they're not out there, then cut the kid's hair that you, you cast. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> that gets my go is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license. As if anyone would want to copy this crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>